Hi, my name is Emily and I am an educator here at the Glazer Children's Museum. And this month at the Children's Museum, we are learning about scientific observations and illustrations. Do you know what an observation is? An observation is the act of looking at something closely and carefully in order to notice all of the details and learn more about it. Scientists make observations to learn more about the world around them and they share that knowledge with us. In order to make observations, scientists use tools such as microscopes and magnifying glasses that help them to observe their items in close detail. And then they record their observations. The properties that scientists notice when they're making their observations are things such as size, color, texture, and shape. This month at the museum, we are studying Maria Marion, who was a scientific observer and illustrator. She especially liked to study plants and insects, and she recorded her observations in her science journal. There were no photographs or cameras during M Maria Marion's time, so she used illustrations in order to record her observations. And she especially loved to study caterpillars. She would illustrate their life cycle changes as they changed from caterpillars into butterflies. Here at the museum, we are observing shells and insects. Take a look at this shell. What colors do you observe? What is the size or shape of the shell? And what about the texture? And what about this insect? What colors do you see there? What is the size or shape or texture that you notice? If you have a magnifying glass at home, go ahead and grab it and join me as we make some observations and illustrations at home. I'm out here in front of the museum with my magnifying glass and I'm ready to make some observations. If you have your tool with you, go ahead and grab it, and I'll give you some time to make your observations too. Remember, look very closely at your object and notice the properties, such as size, shape, color, and texture. As you're observing, feel free to sketch your observations on a piece of paper so that you can share what you observe with others. Happy observing! Thanks for practicing your observational skills with me today. You can use these observational skills to observe anything and everything around you. Just remember to look closely and carefully and notice the details, such as size, shape, color, and texture. Thanks for joining me, and see you next time.